of uh, National Development Division at PIF. Uh, and our mandate is to ensure that the investments that the PIF makes uh, have a lasting economic impact on the kingdom. It's a multi-pronged uh, uh, effort, uh, not only across the kingdom and across sectors, but also over time. Because we're corporatized and because we can create operating businesses, which are essentially private sector businesses, we have the ability to partner, we have the ability to invest, we have the ability to raise debt, uh, we have the ability to enter into joint ventures. So we have a very broad toolkit um, and we use that to create companies to help our 13 priority sectors advance from where they are today, which in some cases is highly dependent upon imports, in some cases is not as efficient uh, as it could be or not creating enough value for customers as it could be. Uh, and our mandate is to move them from that end of the spectrum to uh, highly competitive and where it makes sense, uh, export oriented. Okay, so how does that work? If you are going into the private sector and um, starting a company within the private sector, how does it help enhance that sector? How does it build those cross sector connections? So in sectors that are mature, in the sense that supply and demand are both here and have been here for some time, financial services, for example, utilities. We own significant stakes in many of the large businesses uh, that provide those services today. And so our playbook is through our governance rights uh, to make sure that those companies are pushing to expand, to create the capacity or the supply, not just for today, uh, but for the sector as it continues to grow or the demand continues to grow in the market over time. We also want to make sure that they're competitive uh, from an efficiency perspective and from a pricing perspective so that they create a tailwind uh, for the economy um, and that they're competitive against imports. And then finally, uh, quality and innovation are very important. So we need to meet the needs, not of yesterday's market, but of the increasingly complex demands of existing businesses and the new ones. Uh, as they grow going forward. I have not seen a top-down commitment, the creation of enablers, and the political will to keep it going for the long term anywhere else in the world uh, uh, to compare with what's happening in Saudi today. A part of PIF's mandate, um, obviously, is to increase its contribution to local content to 60% by the end of 2025. How's it doing with that? Everyone is working very hard uh, to, to do their part to transform the economy. Local content is a very interesting one in that you get a bit of a flywheel once you get started. So. Once companies realize there's an opportunity, if they put capital at risk, build a factory, uh, that they'll win business. Once people trust that that's true, you get a crowding in effect very quickly, right? So a lot of people follow that opportunity.